Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Peacock and we are in the midst of a City Skylines build called Project Flintropica. And we are in episode, I think this is 21 now. Uh, we've done quite a bit actually so far on this map. In the last episode, we built these we added these roads to this hill over in our low density area and we zoned the outside the the bottom road for residential and so far it's it's looking pretty good it's you know filling itself out nicely we still have the rest of these other levels to to zone uh, if we, you know, have that demand. Um, but before we get started today, I wanted to kind of go over uh, some of the changes that I've made since the last episode. Um, I went ahead and I did the same thing basically to this side that I did to this side. As you can see, I've got a uh, three-lane road coming in, splitting off into three, three forks, one going to each of the, each of the neighborhoods. And I changed these to four lane, uh, two way, two way roads, you know, similar to what we did on the other side. And I've got, as far as the exits go, um, I left this last one the same, where it comes down this way onto the highway. But the other two, I've got it making the opposite turn, where coming down this way to this to this road, joining up with this road over here, and then swinging out and joining the highway before before getting mixed up with this roundabout that we've got for our for our exit. So in our in our residential area, I've also gone ahead and I've zoned the rest of this out. I've added these little little side streets and whatnot so that it could it could start to fill up with with residential. Um, none of these roads link up to our tram road that we've got on the outside. They all go through the the maze, if you will, um, the grid the grid road structure so for these neighborhoods to go back up this way to our commercial in this first one we've got a tunnel you can kind of see here we've got a tunnel that goes underneath and comes out here on the other side so similar to what we did over here and then uh, up here we've got this section that can cross over in, onto this road and then and then exit the same way sort of similar like what we did over here so keep that uh, similarity there the commercial area I did a little bit different you know I still have the same two roads but this is now a two-lane one-way road and then it splits off here and then this is just a regular road that I just kinda took up as much space here as I could but the change that I made compared to the other side is that I've got a tunnel now that uh, the commercial traffic exits so they uh, so from this road I got one lane turning left one going straight this road one turning right which goes into two lanes added to this one now have three lanes and then underneath that three lanes comes down to two so it comes out of the tunnel with two lanes and then so that meets up with these two lanes to come up with a four lane one way and then the right two lanes turn right and then these two right these two lanes turn right, so we're still at a four-lane road. 
and then two lanes turn right, which goes into our three three lane fork. And so we've got three lanes that then one goes right and two goes left. Before I had it, you know, come out to here and then cut over down this way and you had this one lane road that kind of come in this way. I just brought it all the way down and and form this form this circle. Form this loop. The other thing I did is I added a parking deck uh, to our to our dock area. This is our inner city bus hub. Um, so I've got this pretty much squared away with uh, the the flow. And the reason I did that is, like I said in this episode, we want to go ahead and create a uh, double. We want to create a uh, a highway pass that goes through this neighborhood and uh, I've been thinking about this and I want to I want to attempt a multi-layer road multi-level road so having you know you've got your regular street traffic on the bottom and then having the elevated elevated highway that cuts through here with one level going one direction and the other level going the opposite direction so it ends up being three levels and I think we can accomplish that with uh, let me let me pull this up I'll find the let's see three lane highway and then let's see our pillars I think this one here, um, this Ronick 69 stack 2C, 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 will give us, if I can, I need to elevate that. Let's just go up. As you can see, it's kind of developed these pillars that could be used for multi-level. So obviously you have the, the one level on the top and then you can put another road here on this level, which is what we're going to, we're going to attempt to do that. Uh, haven't done that before, but uh, we'll, we'll see if we can, see if we can accomplish that feat uh, here today. So I think we can do it. So I'm kind of thinking that like I said, we'll take that road and cut it cut through here and and go directly over this road out across the highway. And I'm thinking that we end up getting rid of this exit since it just basically leads to our university. And then in here basically putting a, a T junction where this will come off come off this way come down and then around this way into our t-junction which will then join uh, this highway so you know traffic that is going to the university can still come down this way uh, past our t-junction you know make a left here go through the roundabout and up to uh, up to the university so I want to give that a shot so I think I've I think I know how to do this but we'll, we'll find out here together okay so let's let's see what we got here as far as okay so there's our target right here so if we can kind of start here somewhere So if we go, I'm wondering if we go 36 and 24 or 48. Let me see. Let's let's see what what businesses are here. So we've got This build, this big building here, might interfere, so it may have to go. 
but let's look at this 24. And of course it won't rotate. So let's just plop that down and see. Okay, so we may need to go, we may need to go higher because I think that'll, this will clip the, uh, the road will clip the top of that. So let's try, it didn't look like much higher, so maybe 40 on the top. Uh, so let's see. Let's go up to 40. See if that gives us enough clearance. And I might as well test this right now. So this will be the top. And I actually want to do the top level going into the city. So let me switch this around. And then the, the middle layer will, will come back the opposite way. So let's so let's see this. If we so that was 40. So then if we do 28. And then we say no pillar and no light. Let's see, let's turn the guidelines off. So if we do that. There's no nothing underneath. And we take our move it tool. And let's just select nodes. Select that one and that one. Let's see how well we can do this. So let's see. Let's see how that lines up. That lines up pretty good. Okay. Yeah, that, that lines up pretty good. So let's see. Okay. So I think that might be able to clear this. Let's see if we can do another segment here. So same thing, 28. Anarchy, oh, turn off collision. Let's see. Looks like we may need to lift it a little more. Yeah, because this this little piece right here from this building is, is coming onto the highway. So let's let's do 44 instead of 40. And then so forty four minus twelve would be thirty two.
slide that row underneath. Okay. It's flush there and flush there, so let's take a look. So it does eclipse this building, but I'm, I'm not worried about that one. I'm just worried about these down here, and I think I think we're good with with that. So yeah, so that's pretty good. Okay, let me back away because that noise is city noise is distracting. All right, so. Bulldoze this. And then we're going to do this one with our pillars and our light. And we'll go up to 44. Here, and let's just hope for the best. So, how long is that? One, one twenty eight. So, I think they're twelve. So, let's one thirty two. Okay, and then let's take a look. All right, so let's see, let's see how it centers on this road. Okay, so the road itself looks fairly centered. I don't know if we can. Yeah, it's 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 centered. All right, so that's pretty good. All right, let's check our pillar placement. See if we need to move like this one. We'll need to move back a little bit. Let's see buildings. This guy. Move it back in small segments. Okay. We're still center. And not quite. So let's bring this down a little bit. There we go. Okay. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. Uh, that one's good, good enough. This one will need to move back. Okay, so that's good there. We center, close enough. That one's good. And then this will need to be moved back a little bit. Okay, we clear. And a little bit more.
That's good. Okay, so now we need our 20 or 32, sorry. With no lights and no pillars. See if we can do this without demolishing any buildings. Uh, you're not snapping. Yeah, I don't want to snap there. Let's do this. Let's help it a little bit. Elevated, no pillar, no light. Okay. Is that one thirty two? Just the nodes. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Uh, almost. Not quite center. Not now, so we're flush right there. And not quite. One more. There. And sticking out. That's probably about as close as we're going to get. Uh, trying to get this to tilt up. So that's huh, that's the easy part. Now how do we get how do we get these split? So I think if we do the top one first, let's see here. So we have a guide here, so elevated, and we want our pillar and our light to forty four. If we go 44, and get rid of that dialog box, 44 like that, and straight down, let's see how that looks. Okay, so we have this pillar that's close, but it 
got enough clearance. Okay. So then let's do one with 28, or 32, sorry. I don't want you snapping. Oh, I see, I see nodes there. We gotta get rid of those pillars. No pillar. And no light. Let's try that again. All right, so there's 32. Does that give us enough room to get out of there? at the so that's 30 I'm looking at this pillar here I need to switch that around okay and then I think go here and if we can let me see here I want to put a node right there Course. So if we do four or three, no, I want this one, sorry. Let's see, three by three. By, I think that looks better. Four by four. And yeah, three by three. Okay. And we'll need to slope this properly. do this whole thing Ooh. okay not that one got this 
top piece rather than the bottom one. Take that one out. Uh, we're going to have to do this manually. Okay, so we need to bring that one down. And that one's okay there. This one will do same height as that one. And then we'll upgrade this to a ground piece. Turn that around. Okay. Let's see how that looks. That could work. I think that could work. Let's see. Yeah, I think that I think that could work. So, this. and let's get rid of this. Buildings. Round piece. Yeah, let's just finish this off. there aren't any any pillar fragments okay so we'll just do the nodes and we'll make them the same height as that one same height as that one So that's flat again. Huh. I did, yeah, 
You gotta terraform that, okay. Let's clean that up. Alright, so get rid of This guy in. Uh, we want that one there. So let's. Well, we gotta check. Yeah, let's turn collision back on. Normal road guidelines. And then we'll hook this guy up, hook this guy up. And rehook this guy up. Okay. So then let's look at this. We've got That's 10. So let's do a 10 by 10. Finish that off. And this becomes Now we're hooked up. We're hooked up on this side at least. Let me get rid of this remnant. If things get crowded, if, if things get backed up here, we may figure out a way to hook this back up with this. Um, so let's see here. So we got this side done. Let's see how that it's looking pretty good. And a little something. Yeah, it's this building here. This building right here. But you know what? It's not it's not taking any of the lanes up. We'll see if the the game keeps it or gets rid of it. All right, so on this side. So if we're coming off of there, come out this way. I'm thinking. Let's see, because this will be our airport. So I think if we. from this point cut straight across but that's too far yeah that's too far over so let's see maybe we, we bring it this way yeah let's so if we go this way with it and then bend it back this way Yeah, and then go, yeah, and then cross the highway here. And then, yeah, and then bend it over to this. And that way this becomes an expressway uh, to our airport. Which reminds me. Uh, I'll make them pay for the privilege of taking this road. So uh, let's do 
that. Straight piece. Let's see. Let's crank this up. And then we'll put one coming in on the other side. So, all right, this is our end point. So if we, let's see, kind of bring this down and then cross it about here, or maybe, maybe right in here. And then, yeah, and then come back. Let's see, here's our highway. So if we bring this down and through this way and then that way you can cut across that way I think that'll work okay so first let's make way for some trees all right and then if we Let's do that one. Let's find a good, probably this one right here. So then let's go 20 that way, 20 this way. Let's see, yeah, that, that's, that's what we want come across through here and then cut over that way okay so let's elevate this by 10 so that's 44 let's actually start here at this point. So that should be 24. Yep, 24 there. 24 there. We'll get rid of this guy. Okay, so that's 10. And then we'll need Let me see, we're, I want to, I, I, I actually, I just want to kind of set up this right now. I think next episode we'll, we'll tackle actually doing the full interchange. Um, so let's go 10 with this. this okay and then let's see so we'll bring this down this way and then hook it into this okay so let's focus on this this over here all right so elevated want our pillar and our lights and so 44 actually let me we need a guide Here, our guide road, and then that 
to this elevated light pillar 44. So if we can let's look at the at this river first. Eventually I'd like to have a ferry run through here. Go from one side of the island to the other. I think that'd be neat. So if we let's see. Yeah, that's good. And then just enough to start right here. Make sure our pillars aren't interfering with the track. And see, that way we can run the ferry line through here. Is that? That different elevation yeah it is okay so let's fix that we want to select our nodes and make sure they're all the same height That doesn't interfere with our pillar. Okay, good. And let's clear up some of these trees. Okay. Let's get these here. So that's 44. Now we need 32. And no pillar and no light. Still okay. Oh, what happened there? Oh no, that that's okay. That's okay. They were there. I thought it plopped this this pillar here down, but it was already there. Okay. All right. So I need to switch this road around. Come on. And of course it got rid of my pillars. Of course it did. Forty-four. Yes, pillar. Yes, light.
Okay. Of course it didn't rebuild this pillar. Of course it didn't. That's funny. It's funny how that works. It wasn't there, and then you delete it, and then the pillar reappears. Okay. I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to do it. All right, so we're back there. All right, so back down to 32. Let's make sure these didn't... Yeah, they're the same height. Okay. So 32, no pillar... this again. We want the pillars back and the lights back. And hopefully it won't delete our pillars again. So far, so good. All right. So then, back up to forty four. We want our pillar and we want our light. long enough. Alright, so ground level. Okay, so elevated. So we want 44. Good. Change direction. Okay, so thirty two. Okay, so it's doing it again like it was on the other, on the other side. So if we those. Okay, so Let's see how that looks. Uh, could bring this up. See if it works this time. All right, there we go. All right, so the bottom one is going this way, so we need to bring the road on this side. this ground so that's 30 make sure 
we got enough room. Okay, yeah, we got room to work. We got room to work. Alright, elevated. And we want. Oh, no, we gotta put the other road down first. So three. By three. Let's see how that looks. Three by three. And then a straight piece. See if we can slope this. So this one, this one, and this one. Okay, how's that look? It's pretty good. Okay. Except we gotta get rid of this guy. business here. So let's clean, clean up our mess. Okay, nothing interfering over here. Alright, good. Alright, let's Let's hook this up. All right, so we got ground pieces, which is at 22. Okay, so we got 18. So if we did 12, oh, I hate how it's just not. Now let's do it this way. What was that? What was that number again? Twenty-two. So if we did twelve, and then this one was eighteen. So let's do eight, and then we'll, we'll upgrade these. Okay, and then this should snap to here, this should snap to here, and then 12 by 12, okay. Alright, so now we got to add our toll road. So we'll do that right here. This way, okay, all right, we are almost in business, we've got this taken care of, so now all we just need to do is Hook it up to the main highway and test it out, see how well it does. Um, but we'll have to do that in the next episode. We're uh, got a lot done here in, in this one. We've, we did this uh, cool little multi level highway. Um, 
it'll be interesting to uh, once we get it finished to uh, get with a car and follow along and see how it looks um, and then I can fill these in with uh, with more more residential these empty spaces I left them there because I wasn't sure how much room we were gonna need um, but that'll be neat just having these tall buildings on either side I think that would be neat um, sort of like you would have in a you know in a major city um, so yeah so next episode we will we will finish this up and we'll do our road out I think we'll we'll get the road started at least to our airport and pretty soon we can start we can start building this thing and getting some more tourists in that way so I Hope you're enjoying this. If you are, uh, please smash the like button and I invite you to follow along and, and subscribe uh, to this channel and uh, hopefully you're getting some uh, benefit from it, some, some knowledge, some entertainment, if nothing else. And uh, we will see you on the next episode. Thank you and have a wonderful day.